Hello. How are you? Good morning, you know, and good afternoon, or good evening if you're in Nigeria. And I want to welcome you back to another edition of Music Business Intelligence. I want to welcome you back to another edition of Music Business Intelligence. And today I'm going to be your host. I'll be facilitating today's edition. And I know that it's going to be highly interesting. I just wanted to stay tuned. I know that on this platform, we have actually invited several guests in the past. You know, the last edition that we did, we brought uh, Mr. Corey D. Adams, and it was really interesting. And so this edition, we are going to, I, I'm going to be your host and the facilitator at the same time. And I believe that you are really going to enjoy the edition. So what's music business intelligence all about? Music business intelligence is a forum whereby you get educated on how to maximize your potential in music business in a godly and a professional manner. And the program is powered by Woodlife. So, and I'm happy to be your host. My name is Kyle Deolusoji, your host and facilitator for today. And the Woodlev is a kingdom-based musical outfit, you know, positioned to expand the frontiers of gospel music by creating multiple platforms through which the gospel artists can reach the church and the world with the word of God in a unique style. You understand? We engage a collection of original contemporary ideas, you know, to build gospel artists in, and other music business professionals into international brands so that they can minister, you know, cross-culturally and, you know, minister across the globe. So that's what we do. And so today, I just want to tell, all, to, 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 I'll tell you more about our vision in Woodlef too. Our vision in Woodlef is to promote gospel artists and music businesses by providing musical products and services through our innovative and educative ideas that are vital to society's quality of life in a professional and godly manner, you know, while aspiring to be the company of choice for such products and services. So today, we are going to be considering a topic that is going to be beneficial to everybody who is a music business professional or who is aspiring to be a music business professional. And so today's topic is going to be highly interesting. And we're going to be looking at how to start and grow your music business. How to start and grow your music business. And that's what I'm going to be considering today. And I hope this will bring a sort of enlightenment to many people. Yeah. So the first thing that I want to say is that for you to start or grow your music business, the first thing you need to do is to identify the feed of music business that you are interested in. You know, it's so pathetic today that Many people are in the music industry, gospel music industry, but they don't even understand the business of music. They don't understand, you know, the, ev or the, the, the everything that encompasses music business. So you need to understand this field very well for you to know where to venture in, you know. It's not limited to being a gospel artist. There are a lot of people who help, you know, build gospel music. Um, though, though most of the time, you know, gospel artists seems to be at the forefront or artists generally, yeah. But we are narrowing down to gospel artists because this is a kingdom-based company, which is Woodlife. So, first of all, I'm going to say you have to identify the field of music business that you are interested in. But how can you identify the field of music business that you are interested in if you don't even know the various music businesses that we have and that's one of the things I'm, I'm going to quickly enumerate this morning i'm going to quickly talk about various music businesses that we have you know you know starting from music recording if you want to go into music recording we have arranger we have music producer we have orchestrator we have production music writer and we have sound engineer and if you want to talk about Another aspect of music, which is symphony and orchestra, we have conductor, we have uh, education director, you know, we have PR director, we have 
production music writer as well you know we have section leader we have uh, sound engineer we have symphony business manager we have ticket service director so there are various aspects of music business that you really need to understand and for some who are going into into music education that's another field of music business and then you want to talk about music librarian you want to talk about music supervisor you want to talk about music teacher private instrument teacher and vocal coach and there's another aspect of music business that you need to know about you know which is public relations and advertising is another field of music business public relations and advertising and so here we can have campus representative you know like as an artist if you build your side you can have campus representative you know in various campuses who are representing your interest in that campus they help you organize whatever you want to do you know concerts selling of tickets or whatever you understand so they build your mouth they are your mouth in various campuses so we have campus representative we have music blogger we have music critic he's a professional in music music critic we have music journalist we have music photographer we have pr counselor and we have press agent so music business is very wide it's very wide it's very wide and then when you talk about performing and writing to you have dj and if you talk about facility arena you understand you have concert all manager you have concert or marketing director, stage manager, sound technician. You understand? So I'm still talking about various fields of music business. And then if you look at the radio and television, there are a lot of people that are into music business there. So you cannot neglect this aspect as well. So we have independent radio promoters. We have music director. We have music radio presenter. We have music TV presenters program director, radio DJ, radio pluggers, you know, TV pluggers, and video jockey, that is VJ. So, you know, why do we need to know all this? I, I'm still going to enumerate, you know, more about some of this profession. But why do we need to know all these people? Because it's not enough for you to just pro produce a music. It's not en just enough for you to, you know, produce a music out there. You need to know all the party involved you know music is just like you know at a football pitch it's like a teamwork you cannot do it alone you can't do it alone so you need to know the party that are involved in pushing that music you know and in, in pushing that music out there you know for you to even put in your best or produce your best you need to know all the parties that needs to be involved and then we have the uh, music industry touring you understand in this area you want to talk about the advanced agent festival director guitar technician lighting technician sound technician tour coordinator tour manager tour promoters and tour publicist then when it comes to music business there are a lot of professions there too you know i've just mentioned few but you want to talk of booking agent business manager concert promoter you understand entertainment attorney you need all those people you need graphic artists licensing representatives makeup artists you know and much more the field is just inexhaustive it's just inexhaustive so and you need to know all these professionals you understand and the reason why you need to know them is just that you know if you don't know them you know there is no how You'll be able to relate with them well and then know how to they are going to use help you push your music. You understand? Because you need all these professionals. And so the first thing is that if you want to grow your music business or start your music music business, you need to know a lot about different aspects of music business. You know, we have music health too. When you talk about music health, you want to talk about the music therapist, you know, speech pathologist and voice therapist so all these people are people that help in promoting music business so the first thing is to identify the field of music business that you are interested in the field of music business so 
At times, most of us will just limit ourselves to an aspect. But if you have understanding of various aspects of music business, there is a way you, you know you can venture into different aspects of music business without limiting yourself to one. You do what is called SWOT analysis. You know, you want to talk about your strengths and your weaknesses. Know areas where you are good at. And then that's the first thing. I remember in business model, you know, when I was studying about entrepreneurship, you know, one of the things they taught us is, you know, the first thing is not for you to write your business proposal, but it's for you to identify the opportunities. There is something that is being called opportunity analysis canvas. You know, after that, you know, you do your business uh, model canvas before even writing your your business you know proposal so very very important very important so a step at a time so after you have identified various feed of music business that you are interested in you understand set a priority list list them in order of priority list them in order of priority which one are you interested in so list them so which one is the top priority? For instance, you know, yeah, some, their talent is not just more than one. Some have two talents, some have five, some have more. So, but it's not possible for you to start everything at a time. It's better you start with one and then you can graduate to others. Master one aspect of music business well first. Then if you think that you have the ability to do more, then you can graduate to other aspect of music business. That's the way it works. So set a priority list. There is an adage that says, you know, jack of all trades is master of none, but it's not really true. You understand? You can be a jack of all trades but and master of all, but there is a way to go about it. You don't just go out there, you understand, and start everything at once. Start with one thing. Master it well before moving to others. So that's, that's, that's the way it works. So what do you want to be known for? Ask yourself, what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be an artist? Or you want to be a musician? Or you want to go into music therapist? Or you want to be a DJ? Or you want to be a graphic artist, sound technician? You want to be a tour coordinator? Or you want to be a tour promoter? Or do you want to be an entertainment attorney? Entertainment attorney is early professional. You understand? You need to understand, you know, legal matters. So, you know, I will just talk briefly, you know, about some of the aspects of, you know, music business. For instance, for production music writer, you will create and write music that is licensed or sold to a production music library. So the production music library then places this music in commercials, films, and TV shows. So as a production music writer, the earnings generated from your creations I split with the production music library that owns the right to the music. So that's the way it works. That's the way it works. So, you know, you need to know all this. So skills, recording and missing skills, you know, you want to talk about the stage manager. There are a lot of things that you need to know, you understand, for you to be able to participate in this. And this is very, very important. So then after that, you get to the skill acquisition stage skill acquisition stage whereby you want to acquire the relevant skills that can make you succeed in the area of music business that you have chosen you need to acquire the relevant skills that can make you succeed so you must be willing to also serve that's the third point you must be willing to serve either you know with someone who has a better experience than you you understand you can serve with for instance, if you want to be a producer, for instance, you need to first of all learn the skills. Stay indoor for some time, learn the skills very well. Then look for a mentor. Look for someone who is in that field who can mentor you and help you be what you want to be. Very important. You just, just start out and just start producing. No. Look for someone to mentor you. At that point in time, you are staying in the evening and then you, the grace upon the mentor can also be transferred to you. Look for a mentor. Look for a mentor. So you must be willing to serve. You don't just go straight and just start something, you know, but you must be willing to serve. You must be willing to serve. You must be willing to serve either, you know, with someone who has gone ahead of you, you know, a mentor, group, a professional, 
who is doing similar thing, you know, in, in respect to what you are planning to do. So understand the business of music. Music, like every other business, needs a business plan, needs a business model. You, know, you need to, you know, map out your strategy. You don't just go out there, map out your strategy. You need a marketing plan. You understand for your business. So think like a businessman. Yeah, you can actually turn your passion to profit. And so, for instance, you do like market survey. First of all, find out is your is your passion profitable? You understand? All these are very, very important. So then another thing is that you need to move with people of like minds. You need to move with people of like minds, you understand? So if you want to become, you know, great in your music business, you know, look at people who are successful, you know, flock together with them and understand what they do, you understand, to be successful. So very important, you cannot do some of these things in isolation. So like we said, the first thing you need to do is Identify the field of music business you are interested in and I listed various fields of music business you understand that you can do. Identify those areas. Then the next thing is list them in order of priority. Which one do you want to go for first? You understand? If you want to become an artist, for instance, you know that you need to work on your voice. If you want to become a, a, a producer, you need to work on your skills. Acquire those skills first. Skill acquisition, very important. And you do that, you know, in the secret. It, nobody knows them, you understand? Then look for a mentor, someone who can mentor you. Don't rush out. Most of the time, we just rush out and then and we don't understand the business aspect of this thing. So look for a mentor, someone who can mentor you in this field. And once you have a mentor, you understand, it helps you to, you know, do whatever you need to do. Well. So another thing is that, you have to move with people of like minds. So, you need to take some courses on how to manage business. So, build healthy relationships. Build healthy relationships. You understand? All these are very, very important when it comes to, you know, building your music business. And you cannot just, you know, rush out. If you rush out, you're rushing. You understand? So you need to do all these things. You know, if you if you rush out and without adequately prepared, you know, most of the time, you know, you will not be able to do this music business successfully. So it's very, very important that you understand different aspects of music. And so how do we come in in Woodcliffe? In Woodcliffe, there are a lot of things that we do. And some of the things that we do is that we try to, you know, consult for music business professionals on how they can improve their business of music. We consult for different music business professionals. And another thing is that we link you up. We connect you. There's something, a program that is called Music Connect. We try to see how we can connect you with different music you understand, professionals that can help you, you know, promote your music. So, very, very important. So, and another thing is that we, we teach strategy you know, with this strategy on how, you know, to go about your music business. So, for instance, now, if you pro produce a song and you don't understand, you know, the different, you know, professionals that can help push this song out. You know, you want to know the right bloggers to use for a song. You want to know, you know, the, the nature of the radio station and people to work with, you understand, when it comes to media. Know the key people that, that can help push that song. So, also, you know, even to manage your music, you need someone to speak on your behalf. You need, you need someone to manage you. You need a manager because, yeah, truly, it cannot be everywhere. But you need someone to speak on your behalf. You need someone to manage you. You need a personal manager and a professional manager. You understand? All this will help you, you know, boost your your visib visibility so you'll be more visible to people because you know you have someone talking on your behalf and it depends if your if your ministry has become a bit global or well known you have a different set of people in different parts of the world so networking is a big aspect of music business networking and, and when i say networking you have to network with the right set of people 
You need to work, network with the right set of people. Very, very important. Network with the right set of people. So, that's one of the ways to go about your music business. And then, you know, if you are into... Let, let, me, let me take some of the music businesses, for example, now. You understand? If you are, a, you know, a producer, you need to know, understand your clients. You understand? Even producer, there are different aspects of production. So, which aspect do you want to really be known for? Rock producer? You understand? Or maybe African star? You understand? Or different star, you understand? But at least be known for something. I know this guy is a producer, but he can produce uniquely. You know this aspect. So even though as you are trying to build your skill to be able to produce different style of music, at least start from somewhere. Start from somewhere. Don't just jump all out and say, yo, you want to produce everything. So I've seen people that, and mentoring, like I said, is very important. I've seen a lot of people that, you know, try to look for mentor, you know, to mentor them. And I realize that they do better. You understand? And there's something that is called bootstrapping in business. Bootstrapping means that you're doing something else whereby, you know, as well as building your business together. So it's not that you, are ju you just went straight away to just be doing one thing, you understand, but you have not mastered it well. Make sure that you understand all these things, you understand? Very, very important. Very important. So in Woodleaf, one of the things we do is to educate you on different aspects of music business, you know, and show you some of the opportunities that can help you grow your music business or start a music business and we consult with you to help you establish develop your marketing plan you understand social media marketing plan and we do a kind of one-on-one -on -one consultancy you know concert promotion those are some of the things that we do and then different professionals we link them up we call it music connect if you need this professional and we know someone who can do that for you. We do music connect, connect you, you understand, with different professionals who can help you amplify your music. So these are the things we do, and this is how we come in. So today, I'll be rounding up because we're going to spend just a little time today, you know, in introducing this. We are going to go fully into some of these businesses, and now you can start them, and how you can also make money through them. So, by next week, we we'll continue with this series. Thank you for watching today. And this is Woodlife, you know. And Woodlife is a kingdom-based music industry that helps promote the frontiers of gospel music. And we help business, music business professionals, you know, to get to the level that they need to get to in terms of their businesses, attain a higher height, you know, to ensure that their businesses well amplified and well promoted. Anyway, see you next time. Thank you and bye.